Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install Google Play on your Asus Tinkerboard. This is pretty easy to do. Now you're going to need another PC to do this from. Now I'm going to be using a Windows PC. It should be the same for Linux or Mac. Steps for installing ADB will be a bit different, so you might need to research that. But if you're on a Windows machine, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to need obviously is Android. Now this is the latest version of Android for the Tinkerboard as of making this video. Version is on screen now. This should work with newer builds that come out as long as they're Marshmallow based and if they ever update to Nougat I'll make another tutorial. We need to connect online so it really depends if you want Ethernet you can use Ethernet if you want Wi-Fi you can do that also. I'll go to settings, Wi-Fi, turn on my Wi-Fi, and I'm just going to connect to my Wi-Fi network. I'll skip my password. Okay, so we're obtaining our IP address. Connected. From the Wi-Fi menu, go up to the three dots. Advanced. We need to grab our IP address. So take a picture of this, write it down. You will need it. Mine is 192-168-10-155. If you're using Ethernet, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Ethernet for you. I should switch over to Ethernet right here. Go to More, Ethernet, and you'll need to get your IP address from here. Now we're going to be moving over to my Windows PC. I created a package that you can download. You'll also need to install 15 second ADB. Very easy to do. Your PC and your Tinkerboard need to be on the same exact network. If you're on Wi-Fi, they need to be on the same network ID. If they're on Ethernet, they need to be connected to the same hub. Let's move over to the PC now. So now that we're back at the PC, my ASUS Tinkerboard is connected to the same network that my PC is connected to. Down in the description, there's a link to a system.7z. You're gonna need to extract this. So this is everything we need to install Google Play on our ASUS Tinkerboard. We need one more package installed onto our PC, and that's going to be 15 second ADB. Very safe, very easy to install. It'll ask you, do you want to install ADB in Fastboot? Click yes. Install system wide, yes. And you can also install the drivers by clicking yes. Very easy to do. Link is in the description to download this. Now I already have 15 second ADB installed on my PC. I'm going to open up the system folder that I just extracted. So from within the system folder that you extracted, you're gonna hold shift on your keyboard and you're going to right click in the folder. You're gonna scroll down until you see open command prompt here. Mine says open PowerShell window here. It's pretty much the same thing, but yours may be command prompt. It'll be a black screen. So from here, we need to connect to our tinker board over Wi-Fi. ADB, connect, 192-168-10-154, your IP will be different, press enter. We're now connected to the Tinkerboard over Wi-Fi. Next we want to do ADB root, ADB is already running as root, if you get this, totally fine. ADB, remount. And inside of here, I created this text file. It's very easy to use. So you got ADB connect your IP address, ADB remount, ADB push system system. That's what we're gonna be using next. So when we input this, it could take anywhere from a minute to five minutes. We're gonna push this system folder to our Android system on the Tinker board. So from here, you can just paste it, press enter, it's going to push all of the APKs and all of the information out of the system folder to our tinker board. When this is done, we'll just have to reboot one time and we'll have Google Play up and running. There's a couple little steps that you should follow when we get back to the tinker board. So let this finish up. So the tinker board is now rebooting. Let's move over there now and I'm going to show you a couple little steps that we can take to make sure that Google services does not crash on us. Okay, so now I'm back at my rebooted Asus Tinkerboard. We're gonna go to the app drawer. Now we have 
Play Store installed. It might shut down on you one time, just reopen it. Now you're just gonna follow the on-screen prompts, just like setting up a new Android device. I'm gonna skip this part. Now we're using Google Play. This is an older version, so if you click on these three bars right up here, go to Settings, Build Version, a new version of Google Play will be downloaded and installed. You're going to have to wait a little while because it doesn't do it automatically. One other thing that I definitely recommend is going back to these three little bars. Settings. Auto update apps. Do not auto update apps. Now I just set that just in case a new version of like Google Play services or something like that comes out. It may crash and I'm looking for a fix on this. But right now, you have Google Play up and running. This will update and look like the newer version of the Google Play Store. I'm just going to download IDA64 real quick so you can see that it is working. It works very well. Go to Install, Accept. It's going to install it for us. We can open that now. So now we have IDA64 installed. There's a lot of stuff that you can install. Some stuff works great. Some stuff doesn't work at all. But that's what you get with new builds. This is getting better and better over time. So now I want to show you a few little things just in case Google Play services starts crashing on you. We can uninstall the update. Go to Settings. Apps. Google Play services. Up in the top right hand corner, there should be three little bars here or three little dots. You can click on that and uninstall update for Google Play services. Once it's uninstalled, I've had mine for two days without it reinstalling. So I'm not sure if it's going to reinstall on you, but it may crash. It might not. You might get lucky and it won't crash with the newer update, but I wasn't so lucky. This is the only way I can get Google Play working and it works really good. So now that I've waited a little while, we'll go back to the Play Store and see if it's updated. And it has. As you can see, we have the new version of Google Play. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. All the links are in the description. If you need any help at all, let me know in the comments section and I'll try my hardest to get back to you. Like always, thanks for watching.